oranges are very sensitive to the cold and like my bony fingers, can be damaged or even destroyed by just a few hours at a couple of degrees below freezing. That's why Florida orange farmers get chills, come on, at the prospect of a massive cold front. Come here, I'll show you. Every few years, there's a newsworthy cold snap that extends as far south as Florida. And that's bad news for the orange harvest because more than two thirds of the nation's orange growing land is right here. If the Sunshine State experiences a prolonged period of sub-zero temperatures, the national orange harvest can really take a huge hit. For example, suppose that 15% of Florida's orange crop is destroyed by a cold snap. Doesn't sound like much, does it? But get this, 15% equals 1 million tons of fruit. That's 3.2 billion oranges. Sadly, that means oranges and orange juice will cost you more at the store. But you know what? I'm okay with that because they're worth it, especially the blood orange. Now, contrary to its gory appearance, the blood orange might be the healthiest of the bunch because on top of that vitamin C that oranges are so famous for, blood oranges pack an extra punch. Let me show you. If this reminds you of this, it's because they both contain anthocyanins, which are those valuable antioxidants you've been hearing so much about lately. So go ahead and splurge on blood oranges this year. Your body will thank you for it.